Good afternoon, folks. Uh, Red Labor here. Um, I'm here to talk some politics with you. Um, I'm in a 1980s mood, so as you notice, well, let me do this here real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I look like a goofball doing this, but I need to explain something. Do you see this? There we go. That's the Socialist Party USA button from the 1980s. Um, when I was a member of the Socialist Party from 1996 to 2005, the Socialist Party of North Carolina adapted the uh, Fist and Rose button again. Social Democrats that we are. Um, those days are long gone, but uh, I'm an independent. Um, I'm an independent socialist these days. Don't belong to any political party. I'm just strictly. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe there's any political party or movement out there uh, fit for me, and I'm just waiting till a labor party will one day be formed. So, so let's get cracking. Ah, uh, yes. I want to talk about George Soros today because a friend of mine decided to go on a Facebook uh, discussion group um, um, and uh, kind of taunt a um, white supremacist asshole um, and uh, <laughs> basically said that uh, basically said by the way I'm, I'm well paid by George Soros, and uh, it's just great. It just you know, I, I mean, these conspiracy theorists uh, that are obsessed with George Soros. I mean, it's amazing. Apparently, whether they're white supremacists or they're, um, I'm reluctantly use the term mainstream tea par uh, to describe the Tea Party, but for the sake of this argument. Let's talk about the loony right, ranging from Tea Party types, who are, I guess, going to be the mainstream, all the way to over white supremacists, who are fucking whacking the head. Well, Tea Party are whacking the head, but, you know, there are people who are not white supremacists, and, you know, that's, that's good. Uh, they're just wrong on some of the other things, but I'm ranting right now. Let me, let me get to George Soros. There's a conspiracy theory among the right about George Soros, and uh, they claim that George Soros just fund every leftist group you can imagine. They le they fund the left wing blogs during the Bush administration. They fund liberal media. They fund NPR. They fund uh, college professors. Uh, there's funding for the labor unions and funding for environmentalist groups and anti-war groups and. Democratic Party candidates and and left wing magazines and and you name it, they find George Soros everywhere and they tell people, oh he's a communist, he's a, he's he's a Hitler supporter, he's this, he's that. Let me tell you how fucking ridiculous it is to call George Soros a Hitler supporter. George Soros was born in 1930 in uh, Budapest. Hungry. He was born into a, an Orthodox Jewish family. Okay. Um, chances are the man's not going to be. Um, he's not going to be a Nazi. Yeah, it's true that um, during the war, the um, during the Nazi occupation of uh, Hungary, that that the that they set up a quote unquote Jewish council. And they had they rounded up Jewish children to go and find find uh, Jewish people to go and, and put in the camps. And it's true, George Soros is among them. But here's the thing: he was a young kid. It is just as unfair to label George Soros a Nazi, a man who was a Jew. The name he label him a Nazi supporter. It is just as unfair to label this progressive as a Nazi just as much than to label Pope Benedict the 16th 
who's a conservative, a Nazi. Because uh, there are people out there that claim that Pope Benedict XVI, when he was um, John Ritzinger, uh, was uh, a member of Hitler Youth. And that was true. But here's the thing. Everybody who was in Germany, a young people were required to join Hitler's Youth. And for Pete's sake, folks, he served in the German army as a corporal, and he deserted the German army in the battlefield. Not much of a, a Hitler sympathizer, I, I would think. Sure, I disagree with, with his theological conservatism, but I do respect Pope Benedict XVI, and I hope that in his retirement from, as Pope that he will uh, rest peacefully and, and, and have uh, good years left in him. Getting back to George Soros, um, as I said, he was, he was, as a young kid, compelled to do this for the Jewish Council. Well, what happened was, later on, uh, when, after the war, when he ended up moving to England, he felt a lot of guilt for what he did, and this compelled him to support the progressive cause, you know, human rights. Um, and for him, human rights was, um, the progressive cause the social democratic cause in Western Europe, or uh, I guess the liberal left cause in, Amer in America as we call it. And um, good for him. But while his uh, right-wing detractors want to paint him out as just anti-American and, 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 you know, this leftist rabble-rouser, what have you, they forget a few things about George Soros. George Soros was also an anti-communist. Uh, he actually funded anti-communist movements behind the Iron Curtain with his large fortune. And, um, you know, and good for him. As a democratic socialist, I oppose communism. And, um, and anybody who's for human rights as opposed, for co opposed to communism, um, if they're not fascist, or they're not the ultra-right wing, anybody ranging from moderate conservative to uh, to to liberal left, to social democratic, to green, or what have you, that are opposed to communism, or even reformed communists within the communist world, uh, who are opposed to communism, they, they're they all okay in my book. So, um, you know, uh, enough of that, that um, bullshit about George Soros being anti-American. During the Bush administration, George Soros was correct to oppose the Iraq war. but the right wing, people like Fox News, talk obsessed with George Soros, claim that, that he's against George w, he was against George W. Bush all the way. Well, you know, being against George W. Bush is not a bad thing, all right? Okay? George W. Bush was only the most horrible president America ever had. Um, and while I'm not a fan of Barack Obama, he is a mild, a very mild improvement. Anything would have been a mild improvement to George W. Bush. You couldn't get any worse than George W. Bush. George W. Bush was fat enough to make the Reagan 80s seem like the good old days. That's how bad George W. Bush was. But while he was opposed to a lot of the Bush doctrine, the war in Iraq, Iraq and, and this, this uh, secret desire, because we know that they wanted to go into Iran too, uh, the secret desire to go into Iran and this, this, uh, this, you know, the torture and the Patriot Act and everything that was shitty about the Bush presidency, which unfortunately Obama held on to. I'm glad George Soros was right there to call bullshit on it, okay? I really am. But here's the thing, folks. Is George Soros uh, a, a, a mere pacifist? or a supporter of Islamic terrorism. Fuck no, he's not a supporter of Islamic terrorism. I mean, the left was divided over Afghanistan in the last decade, and um, I happened to be one of those folks that felt like then it was okay to go into Iraq, uh, to Afghanistan. Iraq was wrong. Afghanistan was okay to go into, because they were the ones that attacked us. But um, Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. Saddam Hussein, he was a secular piece of shit, not a, not a religious piece of shit within the context of the Muslim world. 
So, you know, this whole notion of, of claiming that there was a connection with 9-11 in Iraq is bullshit. And, you know, George Soros, um, George Soros, just like any sane person in the West and any sane person anywhere in the world, do not want to see um, radical Islam take over Western civilization. But at the same time, you know, we certainly, any rational person, do not want to see the likes of George W. Bush and the likes of, of people like, uh, you know, people that, you know, like Dick Cheney and, and Donald Rumsfeld and people like that, um, uh, uh, you know, call the shots politically. And, um, and yeah, there is an Islamic threat to Western civilization. And this is what I have to say to them. And there is a uh, there is a Christian right threat to to world peace. I say that to, to them too. So um, you know uh, that's where I stand. And I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of your service. I don't think he's the most left wing person ever, or my kind of left, or what have you. But when I see Glenn Beck and Fox News and the right wing get all crazy over George Soros, I have to think to myself, I have to think to myself, well, there must be something good George Soros is doing. I mean, look, I'm not a fan of Ron Paul's economics and some social issues are kind of sketchy too, but, you know, when Sean Hannity, I mean, Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh, and even at one time Glenn Beck are bitching about Ron Paul. There must be something good about Ron Paul at that point. And I would say the same thing about George Soros. So, um, George Soros, if, if, if you want to funnel money in America to, to really, really piss off the Tea Party, please do it. Please. And, um, I, you know, if you want to contact me, uh, my email address is redlabor at AOL.com. You can contact me, and you can tell me, you know, you, you can um, give me money, because uh, I'll be glad to take some money and go on YouTube and say, hey, fucking right-wingers, I'm taking money from George Soros. If you have any comments, please do so. Good comments, bad comments, any comments. I'll talk with you. And then, you know, if some of y'all are an asshole, I'll talk back at you. Anyway, take care. Have a great day.